Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 26. This training module, we're going to take a look at working with our progressive style nitrous control. We have a lot to cover here, so let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our progressive style nitrous control using our Holly Sniper EFI system. Now, the last tutorial, we focused on doing basic on-off style nitrous control. The progressive control we're going to be taking a look at here in this tutorial offers a lot of advantages over the basic on-off control. We can vary the amount of nitrous we're actually bringing into our engine using a progressive uh, style strategy. We can vary the amount of nitrous we're bringing and delivering to our engine based on a run timer. So if you're launching your car, you could stage your nitrous and actually progressively feed it in, allowing you to gain traction if you have a really large shot of nitrous. There's a lot of advantages to using a progressive style control. What we're gonna cover here in this tutorial is taking a look at a dry type of progressive control where we're gonna be increasing the amount of fuel flow with the nitrous spraying into our engine through the port injectors within the sniper assembly. So we're not gonna cover doing a wet style nitrous control. I never had the best luck with the progressive wet style control. The dry does work very well here as we're gonna outline. So let's jump in here and take a look at where we can turn on nitrous ICF to start to take a look at our programming parameters for our progressive control. We're gonna jump in here any calibration file you have open in your software will work. I'm gonna go up into toolbox here and go into enable nitrous. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and choose this option here, yes, and choose the default blank dot nitrous option and click open. Now that that's open, we can jump up here to the little nitrous bottle icon and this is gonna be allowing us to program our stage one of the nitrous control. Now with the um, sniper system, we only have one stage of control if we're dealing with something like a Terminator X or an HP Dominator system from Holly, there'll be more stages of nitrous control. This is really stripped down, really basic, but this is all we need to really program successfully a progressive style strategy. So first thing I wanna do here is take a look and talk about the image I have coming up on screen. This is a schematic, essentially an overlay of what we need to have in our progressive style kit in order to make this strategy I'm gonna talk about in the tutorial work. We have to have a couple key part numbers I'm gonna mention here in a second in order to make sure that we have everything accounted for when we want the progressive control to work. Now I wanna mention this again, the progressive control we're gonna be covering here is gonna be a dry progressive control. We're not gonna be doing a wet progressive control. Dry is gonna be assuming we're adding the additional fuel flow that we need when the nitrous is spraying through the port fuel injectors within our Holly Sniper assembly. Let's take a look here at the schematic and talk about the part numbers that we need to have. So looking at our schematic here, we're gonna have a nitrous bottle so you can have pretty much any nitrous bottle, doesn't matter. We're gonna find in this case, we also have a nitrous solenoid. Now, I find for progressive control, part number 18048RNOS is going to be a good nitrous solenoid. And then we have a solid state relay. This is the key to making a progressive style control work. This is going to be part number 15620NOS. And again, that's a solid state relay. Now the solid state relay, is able to pulse the nitrous solenoid and the nitrous solenoid as it's pulsing will allow more or less flow of nitrous through the solenoid. So if we have the bottle open, the bottle is going to allow the nitrous to come out to the solenoid. The solenoid is going to be essentially then regulating how much nitrous goes through the, uh, the nozzle on the nitrous jet. So in this case, if we're pulsing the nitrous solenoid in a zero to 100% duty cycle output, we'll find that we have the ability to add more or less flow through the nitrous solenoid and through then through the nitrous jetting. And we'll find that 0% duty cycle output controlling that solid state relay, which controls then the nitrous solenoid, we'll find that no nitrous will come through at 0% duty cycle. 100% that solenoids, uh, the nitrous solenoid's wide open, we have max flow. 50%, it's gonna be regulating 50% of the flow through that solenoid to the nitrous jet. So we're essentially effectively cutting our nitrous flow to the engine in half. So we have the ability to very specifically control that nitrous solenoid using a duty cycle type of output control, but that's gonna require that solid state relay to be present. We cannot pulse with modulate or duty cycle control a traditional 30 or 40 amp relay that we've covered how to deal with and how to, how to work with in the last tutorial doing the basic on-off control. So the solid state relay allows us to pulse the relay. The relay is handling the switching load and that's gonna be what then pulses the nitrous solenoid. We never can directly drive or control 
something like a nitrous solenoid right from the holly, otherwise it will damage the output from the holly. So definitely want to make sure you have that solid state relay. Now in addition to this, we're also going to need a basic on-off toggle switch as we're finding here, and then we also need a nitrous nozzle that's going to allow us to put the correct jet size in that we want to run. Now looking at our schematic here and how everything's wired, uh, we'll find that we have our battery here and then looking at our solid state relay. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.